What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today I'm going to be showing you a way to remap the Bixby button as well as the volume buttons to pretty much do and open much more than what Samsung will allow you to do. Now, in my unboxing video a couple days ago, I showed you that there was a software update for my phone. Uh, this is the T-Mobile variant. I updated, and that update did allow me to remap the Bixby button to an extent. This that I'm going to show you today will open up a whole ton more features that allows you to use the Bixby button as well as your volume buttons. Now this works on the Galaxy S10, uh, S10 Plus, and S10e, and it also works for uh, Galaxy S8, X8, S8 Plus, uh, Note 9. Um, pretty much all the galaxies that have the Bixby button will be able to use this. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So this app that I downloaded, like I said, I've been using it since the Galaxy S8 Plus. It works really well, allows you to turn Bixby off. You never have to see it again, and you can expand that button. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go into the Play Store, and you're going to want to search for an app called BX Actions. As you can see, it's the very first one, the Bixby button remapper. So there it is. Uh, I've already purchased it um, and I've also donated to the developer because this app is truly amazing. So let's go ahead and show you. I've already got it installed here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. So here you can remap the Bixby button. You can turn that on and off. Uh, you can turn the volume buttons uh, remapping on and off too. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your settings. You're going to have to de enable developer mode. So you go into about phone. We're going to go into software information and you're just going to keep clicking on the build number. And at the bottom here, you're going to see a countdown like five, four, three, two, one. And it says developer mode has been enabled. You're going to go back. Uh, go into development options and the app will show you uh, or tell you rather everything you need to do. Um, you're going to want to turn on USB debugging and you're going to have to enable some things. And once you connect this to your computer and you run the program that it tells you to, it unlocks uh, everything you need to do. So, okay. So this, like I said, it opens up a whole other world. So you have single press, double press, long press, double press, and hold. So for the single press, I have it to take a screenshot. So I'll hit the Bixby button, and it takes a screenshot. The double press is my sound mode, so if you can watch up here, I'll double press that, and it changes my sound mode. So much quicker than having to go to the pull down and hitting a button. Long press, flashlight. And the double press and hold, I don't have uh, set for anything. Now, that's just for when you're in the phone. Here, you have another spot for when you're on the lock screen. So you don't even have to open up the phone to be able to use some of these things. So I have the lock screen, uh, single press to change my sound mode. The double press, I don't have anything. Long press, still the flashlight, which is super convenient because if you need the flashlight, you don't, you, you don't want to have to worry about turning the phone on, then go into the flashlight, hit the button, you just hold down the Bixby button, works out really well. And as you can see, I have the, I've already connected to my computer uh, and I have the full remap being enabled. So that is just the Bixby button. Then you have your volume buttons that you can also use. So you have the um, single press up, double press, long press, um, pretty much everything that you can do with the Bixby button, you can do with your volume buttons as well. So I think the, the one that would help me out the most would be the lock screen without the phone on because if you're hitting some of these with the phone on, you're gonna wanna change your volume, but then it's also doing other things. So that might be a little confusing. So, uh, and then we have our settings here. Um, you can accept calls with the Bixby button you can have it set to where it doesn't launch anything while the phone is in your pocket. Uh, on calls, you can disable it. You have a peak action where you start a long press action and hold the button and then release it to close the app, the, the action like apps, torch, and notification. Uh, vibrate on long press and you can also uh, control the length of the presses too, which is really nice. <laughs> I, I can't express this enough how much 
I think everybody that owns a Galaxy device with the Bixby button needs this app. Now, I'm not being sponsored by this developer. I just love this app and I just wanted to share it with you guys because even though uh, Samsung put out their little thing to where you could you know, kind of remap the button, there's still a lot of restrictions. You still need to have a Bixby uh, push on there, whether it be a single press or a double press. This uh, turns off Bixby and allows you to totally remap everything the way that you want it. And let me just show you real quick again. Um, so the single press, I have to take a, a screenshot. You can set it to go home, back, your phone, camera. You can have it set a, a launch an application, a shortcut, jump to last app, your task manager, power menu, notification center, settings tray, take a screenshot, screen on and off, uh, one-handed mode. Uh, Google Now, you can have Google Assistant instead of Bixby, which I will totally tell you guys to do rather than use the Bixby. Um, turn on auto rotation, split screen, um, flashlight. You can use it for your media, volume up and down. There's just a ton of different options, way more than Samsung uh, would probably ever allow us to use. So I would definitely recommend you check it out. I, I can't see why you would be disappointed with this. It just, it works so well and it adds so much more functionality to that Bixby button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be putting out a video uh, for doing a review of a whole bunch of different screen protectors, some glass, some uh, regular flexible plastic to see which ones are the best. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Go ahead and check that out, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.